a tree here. Uh, Cindy just went home, and I want to apologize. The videos, I was listening to them, and because she told me her story before, and, and actually the first video we made was over 15 minutes long, and then it got somehow just disappeared off the computer as soon as we tried to look at it. And so um, somehow we got the sound working. I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, that could be my camcorder being faulty, or it could be the powers that be trying to keep me quiet. But shit's getting through either way. But there are a lot of silent, silent films out there, so I'm really glad that we were able to get the sound tonight. But what do you hear mostly? Me. My big mouth. Because she told me, like, her story, and I've been helping her remember. So I'm not, it sounds like I'm telling the story for her. I'm trying to help her to remember what she told me and to tell the story, but and I end up taking over. I mean, I talk more than she does. I'm supposed to be interviewing her, not the interviewer and the interviewee. I apologize. It was rude. And I just get so, I mean, you know, and the crying part, I mean, that was, we were both crying, but who do you hear? Me. <laughs> I was wailing. I was having a meltdown. But still, it's rude and it's embarrassing. And I, um, I need to, I've never interviewed anybody before like that, because, um, but anyhow, I'm sorry, I apologize for trying, you know, because she, for one thing, she didn't talk fast enough. I mean, she was telling her story, but she, I guess she has to go through the emotion, the feeling, of what she's saying, you know, the feeling, the emotion, and she already told me some things, so I was trying to get... I think I was trying to rush her through the story without having to go through all that emotion, but she's got to go through that emotion to make closure with it so she can move on. And for me, too, the emotions, trying to just run through it real quick because when you settle, go too slow and you settle in the emotions too deeply, it's just so painful, so overwhelming. Anyhow, uh, there's a lot to be um, desired as far as me being effective and doing things right, but. Hang on, I need a cigarette. Um, but she was just, we just made a video before she left that got completely, I, went, I was uploading real slow and then I walked her home and then I came back and it was zero. It totally, the whole thing got canceled, deleted, wouldn't upload. She was telling me about the Giovanni family being one of the biggest shot callers, not necessarily the ones that were the people that were doing this stuff, but the ones that were giving the orders and telling people what they're, to, you know, because it's organized. To, so she said she didn't, they didn't really weren't there physically too much, but they were the ones that were t giving the orders or telling them what to do and who, what to do and when to do it, where to go, whatever. Giovanni family. And I was like, Giovanni? And plus she named about 10 or 15 other families and names and locations in this last video. Oh, sorry. It's like, I don't know why I just did that, because I'm a fucking slut. No, I'm not a slut. I'm not a whore either. I'm just fucking... Man, about me, shut up, tree. Why am I doing it? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I gotta stop. See, look how I just did this. Is about this is serious stuff, and then I get up there and flash my tits. What's the fucking matter with me? I'm defective. See, it ain't about me, me, me. I keep poor me, 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 snivel, me, need teeth, me, need this, me here at Larry's. I'm sitting here feeling sorry for myself, being locked in this room with Larry, not being able to go nowhere. But yet, she had. Her room, she didn't have no colors or no books or no crayons or no toys or no paints or and a can for her potty. And, and I have the nerve to complain. Oh, my God. I have the gall of me. I always talk, me, poor me, poor me. Oh, my God. I really am sorry and ashamed, and I really am aware of that fault of mine. Me, me, mine. God, stop that. Just forget about me. This ain't about me. I've never really been much of a sniveler, me, 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 but lately, man, past few, the past, I don't know how many months, but I have just been whining, sniveling, poor me, it's so bad, everybody, help me, poor tree, I, need, I do need help, but there's, in order for me to be able to be effective to help these other people, I need to be able to do it right, so I need to be pure and clear and balanced and eloquent and be able to know how to communicate properly and I got a lot of work to do in myself in order to be able to help these people without, because I've been known to fuck shit up, try to do good, help people, and then up making up 
we met just fucking shit up so bad and people get hurt in the, in the meantime or in the process not intentionally I don't do it intentionally but I've been known to fuck shit up because I don't do shit right because I'm not I need to be help me to get right so I can help these people um, Leo where are you um Troy Anyhow, so she, tomorrow she's going to pick back up and she's making notes and, you know, like, her going through this, she's never been able to talk about this before or she hasn't, you know, it's been buried in there and she's been, she can't hardly walk. She's all bent over and stuff because they ran her over. They ran the part that they cut off the video where they didn't get to hear the end. She was talking about her son when they ran her over with the car and took her four-year-old son. Her husband sold her son for $25,000 and... Now he's in a mental institution, they cut a hole in his throat, and they did a lobotomy on him so that he's, he couldn't talk and couldn't, he's like, ruined. He's, they totally, his brain, his everything. Her, but that's where she left off, so we're going to have to go through that again because the video didn't go through. But the Giovanni family, is, she said, is one of the main shot callers um, behind this, limit, what all the shit that happens. She says that they're like, not at the top, but they're like one of the main shot callers. And so, um, but she's never got to be able to talk about this. And I've never interviewed anybody like this before. And I just was like having a meltdown. I was getting like, oh my God. And I mean, I was interviewing her and all you heard was me. My fucking voice like, shut up, Tree, shut up. I'm sitting there watching the videos. I'm like, shut up. Oh my God, every time she tries to talk, here comes my fucking big mouth. I'm sorry. I'm aware of that, and I'm definitely um, aware, and will make a very sincere effort to not be such of a fucking stage hog, bullet, whatever, I don't know, I just ran her over, though. I ran her over. I was trying to help, she said I was helping her, she said I was helping her to remember, and plus, she just made a, lot, a video, and then it didn't go through, and then so we had to start all over, and she's like, she didn't know where to start, and she was forgetting things and leaving out parts, and I was trying to get telling you the parts that she just told me in the video that didn't go through. So, so I'm, I'm sorry. It's not, I didn't mean to do that. This is her story. I need to let her tell it slowly, calmly, without me interrupting. Every time she starts to get on a thought or an emotion with it, here comes my big mouth, cutting off the emotion and the train of thought to where she... So I'm, I'm not... I'm going to be... Anyhow, um, this is... She's going to go back and start again from childhood because she says she's a whole bunch of stuff that she's missed and that she's remembering like with her baby um, that she had Jasmine and the things that she was told me about and the set, you know what they did to her and then I told you the baby that they killed and then all of a sudden um, when she was doing the video now that's when she remembered that they cut her tongue out so she wouldn't cry and took a drill up into her vagina and and um, filmed it, filmed the stuff, filmed, and uh, she had not remembered that until, so all of you out there, this, these compartments in their brains where they store all this information, all these memories, compartments, personalities, whatever they are, um, they are sealed shut with paste, paste, they're popping right open, boom, boom, it's going to be, it's going to hurt to go through this, all of you who are going through this, and to remember and to talk about it and get through, you know, to put all those compartments, knock those doors open, remember, you know, and to be able to make some type of closure and move forward. But they're going to pop up, but they're popping open easy, like with paste, like psh, boom, boom, boom. I mean, the hardest part is over, okay, if you decide to do the right thing and want out, or if you want out, that you this is your out. If you don't want out, that means you want in. Where you want to stay, which means that the universal spotlight, spotlight is so bright on you, with your ass in here, your pants down to your ankles, and blood dripping from your cunts, your dicks, and your lips. And everybody will see you, and I will make sure. But you'll first get the chance to make the choice of what you want to do. If you're going to stay, are you going to come? Are you going to come? Do you want out or not? But if you want to continue to make the money and participate in this stuff, uh, I won't hurt anybody ever, but the universal spotlight, 
So anyhow, um, she was talking about the Giovanni family and named a bunch of other families and names and businesses and places in the last video. So tomorrow we're going to pick back up with that. And she's going to go through this. And anybody else that wants to tell her story, the safest place to be is in the spotlight. Seriously, it's the only place that's safe. Because when the spotlight's shining on the people that you're, they're hurting you, they can't hurt you because the spotlight will be on them. But if you keep quiet, they're going to keep hurting you. The only safe place to be is in the spotlight. You have to expose these people. The people that you're exposing, they get the first chance to be the heroes because they can come out, the people that, the names, they can come out and do the right thing. And people aren't going to look at all the bullshit they've done. They're going to see them being a hero coming through and telling the story and like, yeah, let's fuck this shit. Let's move out. Let's get this fucking shit off our planet. This shit will not be tolerated on this planet. This planet will not tolerate this anymore, ever ever again, I swear to you, um, uh, support your local red and white. <laughs>